Hi everyone and welcome to Just Dogs with Sherry YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you about breaking a behavior down into baby steps or achievable segments. Uh, little bits and pieces of the behavior from beginning to end to help the dog learn quicker and um, to really help to avoid frustration which can happen very easily when you're training new behaviors with dogs. So I'm going to show you the down exercise or behavior where a dog goes right from a sit or a stand into a lying down on the ground position. Um, I'm going to break it down with Elsa into uh, three or four steps to get to from the sit position to the down. Um, it is easier to teach a down from a sit because half of them is already down. Although sometimes midway, they, the front goes down, the rear goes up. So you have to deal with what you are given when you're training dogs. So usually I break the down behavior into three or four. I have had to bro break it down into many more and, and fewer. So I'm going to show you with Elsa three or four steps because she already knows this behavior. So I'm kind of having to catch it midway to show you when you would reward. You can use um, a verbal marker, which I often use. My word is uh, yes, and that's in lieu of a clicker. So you could use your clicker for this, or you can do it without. Um, I also do training without markers, just because sometimes people don't want to use them. Um, so I'm going to use Elsa, and you can see she's uh, asleep right now. Elsa, she's having her afternoon siesta. So I'll try to get her so you can see her really clearly here. here swing your rear end around there. I want you to be able to see her all the way. Here, Elsa. Else, oh, there's freebie Cheerios all over the place. So, <laughs> come here. Sorry to wake you up from your nap there, lady. So I'll start her in a sit and then she's going to have a scratch. <laughs> the first baby step that I'm going to ask her for is to lower her head. Yes. And reward her there. Yes. Yes. Now, once your dog is doing that reliably, which, you know, about 10 times in a row, you're going to watch for the rest of their body to lower a little bit. Their whole shoulders going into that kind of pre, pre D O W N behavior. Now I'm not using the word yet, but that's something else to YouTube on. So I'm just watching for her head to be very low. That's two steps, so I'm going to go to the third one, which would be to wait for one of her feet to come out like she was going to get into that position. Yes. A little hard for me to catch because she's already going. Yes. So if your dog doesn't know this exercise already, they're going to hover in that position. They're not going to be as on the way down as Elsa is. Yes. Whoop. So that would be the third and she's achieved that. And we would then move on to the final one for Elsa. Um, depending on the dog, you might have to make two more on the way down, but usually I would say 98% of the dogs get it um, right here. She's picking up stray Cheerios. Else, else, come on over here. Come on over here. And Right position here, please. Sit down. Quick, Quick, girl. So I'm going to ask her for the whole way down now. So we bring it to the floor and then pull it out. That's one step. Um, you can do it uh, in two steps. You can do it in three steps, depending on how quickly and how resistant your dog is to down. A lot of dogs who are very submissive or very dominant have an issue with um, doing the down exercise. Else, Elsa, come here. Hey, hey. Good girl, good girl. Very good, down. Very good. Now, Elson doesn't usually get treats for downing anymore. That's a, something she learned a long time ago. So no matter what, you're, what behavior you're training, you can break it down into as many baby steps or achievable uh, segments, I like to think of them. And 
if depending on your dog dogs that get frustrated really easily the more steps you break a behavior down the better for them um, because they don't you you know hopefully jump over that whole frustration thing in dogs because it's really an obstacle when training uh, dogs like elsa who learn really quickly can get frustrated easily so breaking it down into baby steps just helps you helps them uh, i do recommend that you sit down and kind of think about your baby steps before you start training your dog because that helps um, it helps you as the trainer to know what you're waiting for before you're either going to market or reward that behavior. So I hope this helps um, explaining a little bit about breaking down uh, uh, one behavior into doable baby steps. And I want to thank you for joining us. And I believe Elsa wants to go back uh, to her nap where I so rudely woke her up. And I will see you all later.